It's just before noon in Iowa City. The temperature is 42 degrees. And for Care UI, this is the latest news with Kevin Glick and Kelsey Kniff. Here are the headlines for this Tuesday morning. A terrorism attack in Boston, house parties declared the winner, and a red light camera petition fails. Three people were killed and more than 144 others were injured in a series of explosions that went off during the Boston Marathon yesterday. Two bombs exploded as racers crossed the finish line around 2.50 p.m., just two hours after the race began. The race was called off shortly after. The bombs were thought to be an act of terror and are currently under investigation by the FBI. The Boston Celtics canceled their game for tonight that will not be rescheduled, and the Boston Bruins canceled their game set for last night. Both Google and the American Red Cross set up websites to help people find loved ones in the Boston area. Both websites had areas available regarding information of a loved one and a search button to help look for someone. The House Party won the University of Iowa student government elections, receiving 54% of the votes cast. Catherine Valde, who is currently the government relations liaison for the student government, will become the new president. Jack Cumming, who is currently a senator, will work alongside Valde as the new vice president for the 2013-2014 school year. The House Party defeated the Toga Party and set records as reported 5,651 undergrads voted in the election. This is the fourth highest turnout in 20 years. Iowa City officials say a petition in support of banning the use of red light cameras does not have enough signatures. As of last night, the petition had just over 2,000 valid signatures instead of the required 2,500 valid signatures. Petition organizers say they believe they can make up the difference and they will have 15 days to collect more signatures. Hugo Chavez's political heir has been elected, but not without some controversy. Nicolas Maduro won 50.8% of the vote in Venezuela, while his opponent, Enrique Capriles Radonsky, earned 49% of the vote. Capriles has since demanded a recount, claiming Maduro is an illegitimate leader, given that President Hugo Chavez had handpicked Maduro to follow up on his presidency. Teen pop sensation Justin Bieber sparked outrage with comments in a guest book after paying a visit to the Anne Frank House in Amsterdam on Friday. 19-year-old Bieber wrote in the house's guest book, quote, truly inspiring to be able to come here. Anne was a great girl. Hopefully she, will, she would have been a believer. A believer is a term used to describe the teenage girls and adolescents who are obsessed with the singer. The visit came, to an, uh, came during the middle of the singer's European tour, which is set to end on April 22nd. A series of studies have produced findings on what exactly goes through your brain when you listen to music. A meta-analysis of 400 studies has shown music has a generally positive effect on the brain. One study even found that those listening to music experience less anxiety than those on anti-anxiety medications. The University of Iowa placed fifth in the Big Ten in a recycling competition for college campuses. Iowa recycled over 500,000 pounds of material in an eight-week span. The University of Missouri-Kansas City won the competition. In sports, Major League Baseball honored the anniversary of Jackie Robinson's debut yesterday. Robinson made his debut on April 15, 1947, becoming the first African-American player in the major leagues. Robinson set a precedent for black athletes playing professionally, but also broke segregation barriers across the United States. Players from all 30 major league teams wore the number 42, Robinson's number, which has been retired across the entire Major League Baseball League since 1997. And in local sports, the Hawkeye baseball team will travel to Nebraska to play against Nebraska Omaha at 2 o'clock p.m. today. Finally, a quick look at the weather forecast for Iowa City. Right now, the temperature is 42 degrees. And for KRUI News, on behalf of Kevin Glick, I'm Kelsey Kniff.